welcome back to Clean Fill Wanted. We are going to try to make molding. Well, crown molding, cornice. I'm doing this because I'm working on another project with a gentleman at a club and I kind of want to see if I can do it by hand. So I built that sticking board from the last episode and I'm going to try to learn to use it. But that's okay, it's a prototype. That's a prototype. We're going to see how well this works. Oh, Volo down here. I'm going to come in an eighth, come in an eighth, round it over, uh, convex. And then I'm going to up here do a concave one with an eighth, eighth, woof, eighth, eighth of an inch um, drop down from the top. Always want the grain going up that way. I'm going to work that way. If you're left-handed, you're probably gonna have this reversed mirror and you'll work that way. I also want this to hang over, be at the edge or hang over the edge. Uh, these are the stop blocks. Normally, I'm just gonna probably be using this for doing a little rebates and getting it down to size. It's my moving philister plane. I also fixed this up recently. You might want to check that out. But this is an aftermarket. Somebody made this depth stop on their own. This is as far as it goes down. I need it to be less than that, which means I'm switching over to my plow plane, which has more control on the depth, depth stop. Good Lord, I need water. That's my shape, and what we need to do is connect it like that. I hogged off all that waste really, really quick with my number five. If it was a long board, I'd probably use my joiner and uh, just hog that off. But uh, number five set up the hog, so that's what I used. Behind the scenes, I started working on a little cam to help hold this when it's in a vertical position. I need to keep working on that, but I'm gonna tell you that's definitely something you kind of want. I was using a peg and a wedge system, but I think this is a little bit better, less pieces. Oh, 
I'm, it's done. Yes, I've shaved. It's turned out a lot better than I really thought it would. And I know it's not as smooth and machined as a router bit, but A, it feels really good to have done it, and I'm really proud of myself for it. But it really wasn't that hard. It took time, and it took building this thing. This looks great. It's a win. I'll take that. I'll take this every day. All right. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, next episode, we're going to be making the, that marking gauge. This guy. It's uh, it's actually really easy. Um, I made it the same day I made the jig. So really easy and useful. You can never have too many of these.